This is a 2013 250 XCFW and I've been looking for a mod to put on this to give it more power. I finally found from Best Dual Sport Bikes a aftermarket exhaust and what they call a TPS tuner and these videos look good so I figured I'd give it a try I bought this bike because I just got back into riding about three years ago and I'm kind of old so I wanted something tame so I went with a four stroke and now that I'm used to riding again and I ride my friends two stroke 300 XCW it's like wow that thing is a beast so when I rode it before it was scary so I bought this instead now this bike is uh, just lacking in power and response and it was okay when I first started but I don't know I'm just looking for more out of it so we'll see how this works tell you what this you know what let's see what it sounds like before and after right See that right off bottom there's like there's like a lag so I get a lot of flame outs it just doesn't respond as quick as I think it should so let's see here's the difference between the two end caps this one you see that exhaust pipe it's high and this one's lower so if you look at this thing I don't know if you can see in there Maybe we should put a light let's put a light in there uh, we can see it that thing does not line up so it creates some back pressure it doesn't flow out as good is what he claims. I mean, what makes sense to me? This one's bigger too, so obviously it's gonna flow a whole lot better. All right, ready to put it in. All right, it's on. Very fast, very easy. Look at that smiley face. <laughs> looks cool too okay let's see how it starts up a little louder but still doesn't have that response so we know we have to adjust the TPS sensor <coughs> let's see TPS sensor is right there okay so put off the cap Unplug this guy. 
Okay. Let's plug this one in. Turn it on. Oh. And reread 0.56. It should be from the factory 0.58 to 0 0.60. So that's probably why it's not responding well. So we loosen it up. Turn it counterclockwise, and we got it to go up and down. 0.65. And let's try. Let's jack it all the way up to 0.70. Oh, pretty touchy. It just doesn't. It doesn't take much. Okay. 0.69. Let's get it back to point seven zero. Seven zero. Tighten up. Uh, nice and tight. All right. Unplug this guy. Turn it off. Plug this guy back in. Okay. Let's see. Sounds and feels like better response, but it's too rainy. I don't want to bother the neighbors. And wait till we take it out to Kahuku dirt bike track, and then we'll see how it does. And we'll play with that sensor. Might run better at 0.75. I don't know. We'll try. All right, that's it for now. Later's. increase in power small but you do feel it and much much better throttle response so I got it adjusted to 0.76 I had to play with the uh, idle screw and like wow the bike feels better a lot better nice happy with this mod. Okay, moving on. Yep, a little more crispy. So, just by the seat of my pants, if I were to put a number on it, I would say I got like maybe 10% more horsepower. 100% better response. And it got 100 times 
funner. If that is a word, it got funner. See, so bounce right over those logs. I was gonna go into the bushes. <laughs> the two of us are sliding out of there like, oh, I couldn't stop. Oh, you got, he was huh? <laughs> oh man, I was coming into it like, oh man, I thought I was gonna clean him out. <laughs> <laughs> you see me? Just push it to the side. Yeah. You were sliding too? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Go back. Okay, so I'm done testing out this mod and it worked pretty damn good. So that end cap plus this tool is very easy to use. So if you got one of these bikes, 250 XCFW or 350 XCFW or any of those four strokes, you look into it because this thing works really good. So I'd say this is a must. 200 for this end cap 100 bucks for this tool and the bike runs a whole lot better and it is much funner to ride